Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on a new mask that I just recently posted on Facebook and I'm getting a lot of hits and a lot of comments as it is truly remarkable in its own way. Now when I ordered this, I will be honest with you, I ordered it through Amazon.com. I didn't honestly expect it to be the way that you're seeing it now. I just thought it was a little bit darker than this. And all the detail that you actually see here really surprised me when I first initially got it. Whoever created this mask, I will tell you this, they did a fantastic job. So what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about this particular mask. And we're going to get into some details based on the mask. And uh, as well as give you some close-up shots on this particular mask. So within that, we will be talking about this particular mask. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to get into some technical details based on this particular mask, okay? Now it is in fact a one size fit all. I'm going to explain something to you. If you have a big head, this is a serious struggle to get on your head because it is extremely tight. It is not recommended for people with bigger heads. Uh, if you have a smaller head, this is going to fit like a charm. I will show you the reason why I say it's not going to fit that well because I did try to put it on and it didn't quite, you know, I got it on but it was a serious struggle to the point that I almost ripped it and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. But I don't buy these necessarily to actually wear them. Uh, but there might be that rare occasion that I would want to wear them. But unfortunately, I do have a few of them that are just a little too small like my Michael Myers mask which is from Trick or Treat Studios the 2018 version is made for a small head it is not your standard size like the 1978 version of Michael Myers that one fits like a charm the 2018 one no it does not fit for a big head you will literally str uh, struggle getting it on and it's so tight that when you try to move your jaw it you know it literally stretches the uh, the mask. That's how small it is. This one here is not as small as that. But getting it past this rope part here, if you can get your head past all that, you're good to go. But it is an extremely tight fit. Okay, so let's get into some um, information based on this particular mask. It is actually called. Uh, it's called the Scareborn Scarecrow. And like I said, it is a one size fit all. They don't come in different sizes or anything like that. So that's, you know, kind of a downfall. The actual color, when you actually see it on Amazon.com, seems like it's more gray than it is brown. But upon seeing it, as you can clearly see, it is the other way around. It's a lot more brown with some grayish tones. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, I will tell you this, the actual company that makes this is actually Ghoulish Productions. They do a lot of masks. They are, in fact, from Mexico, and their masks are infamous for one thing. They are biodegradable, so if you were to throw them away, you would be all right with it, okay? Uh, it is, in fact, a gruesome mask that is sure to scare the Yeti out of anybody, okay? So with this in a particular mask, like I said, it is extremely tight. But if you can get it on your head, as you can clearly see, it would be perfect to scare people with. It is absolutely very cool looking. Now upon getting this particular thing, when I pulled it out of the package, I didn't really expect it to be as detailed as it, as it is as you're seeing it now. It's got a lot of hay. It's very, very cool looking scarecrow type mask. Now... When it comes to the base of it, I'm going to pull it down a bit so you can see the base of it. Now that's cool, okay? Now, if you can get yourself the perfect Halloween costume or, you know, scarecrow-type costume, 
and wear this, it is absolutely the coolest thing. Now I do have another scarecrow type uh, mask, but it's not like this one here. This one here is true to the original scarecrows. This other one here, um, it's more like a burlap bag, gray, black tone colors, and it has a lot of jagged teeth to it. So it's not technically a scarecrow scarecrow, but they say it is, but not like this, okay? So I will tell you that. Now, when it comes to this, this is in fact 100% latex. And the actual pieces of hay that you are seeing are also, um, I'm not sure what the material is made of. Uh, but it is not actual hay. But it is a material that can last, okay? I will tell you that. But as you can see, it's got hay strewn all over it. The actual rope that wraps around its neck. The teeth look very cool, okay? I'll show you it up close and personal, okay? But right now, let's just get into the actual information based on the mask itself, okay? <coughs> Alright, let's get into the actual statistics of this mask. Now, the actual mask and its size is actually 14 inches by 12 inches by 4 inches. Now, the total weight is a little over 15.2 ounces, so it's close to a pound. It's got a decent amount of weight to it, but it's not super heavy, so don't worry about that part. Uh, the actual recommended age is uh, six months and up, okay? So obviously, yes, it could fit anybody who chooses to wear these things. But like I said, if you're an adult and you have a big head, I wouldn't recommend you trying to squeeze this on there because if you can get it past the rope part uh, and get it around your face and get it adjusted, it is a tight fit, and I can guarantee you one thing, you will sweat, okay, and that's not really good for latex. Uh, it's a shame they don't come in various sizes, uh, for especially for us guys who have big heads, okay. This would be a f perfect uh, mask to wear, all right, but uh, outside of that, uh, like I said, it's not, I buy it just simply for uh, the main reason of displaying it in my styrofoam head which is what you're seeing right now but you don't see the actual styrofoam head um, but uh, technically you're supposed to stuff it to the point uh, that it doesn't lose its shape because latex after you know a certain amount of time will retain its shape and creases and wrinkles if you don't fill it properly but as you can see here clearly it doesn't really need any stuffing at all because the, the latex in itself is thick enough to hold its shape, okay? It is a good quality mask, especially from Ghoulish Productions. Their masks are more or less hit and miss. They've got some real bottom end type masks, all the way up to some really good masks. They have this vampire mask that literally comes over your head and drapes down almost down to your entire uh, chest. It is a vampire type mask, and that's close to $100, okay? But it is ridiculously detailed, okay. But anyway, long story short, it is in fact um, uh, made for men. And you know, women can wear it too because they got smaller heads. So I don't foresee an issue with that. But like I said, the main issue with the thing is the actual size. Uh, because, you know, anytime I get a mask, I always try to try it on. And every so often, um, I get a serious struggle with them. Like the Michael Myers mask. Okay, I can barely get that one on, okay? Uh, I don't have a super huge head, but I got a normal size head, I would like to think, okay? Uh, but anyway, some of them are a little bit smaller in the way they make them. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut the camera down, get this out of this styrofoam head, and actually show you what it looks like up close and personal. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you what this mask looks like up and close and personal. And the reason why I'm so detailed with it right now is because uh, on Facebook I actually posted images on this earlier this morning. And I've been getting massive responses from it. Everybody absolutely loves it. And they say it's absolutely terrifying looking. And i got to agree with them, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like up close and personal so you get an idea of what it looks like. Now keep in mind, this is a thick latex, eh? So, here we go. Let's get into the actual front part of it here. Alrighty, right there, okay. Let me just kind of change the camera's angle a little bit. 
All right, there we go. Now, the eyes, so you can see they're cool. The actual top of the head, now you can see through, it's got actual um, kind of like strings going through it. It's just like a, kind of sewn through it, like they actually created the mask, which I think is pretty cool. And you see some of the marks all the way straight through, like right through here. All right, and you still got the, uh, the cabling system. I'll show you the inside of this. Uh, but it does have the straw type hair at the tip. All right, and it's got a little, uh, kind of like a leather strap. That kind of, how they would actually hand make it and hand, you know, throw it together and stuff. But it also has these markings here, and it also, uh, they sew in this hay. Now this hay here in itself, uh, is not made of any kind of actual hay or paper or anything like that. It's made of a, like a plastic, so it will last long, so you don't have to worry about that part. But look at the actual texture of the mask itself. Okay. I think that's pretty cool looking. Alright, now down here is the actual rope. Now if you can get your head past this point here, all of this here, you're good to go. Except, like I said, when you actually wear it, from the looks of it, as you can see, it is not a big mask, okay? But if you actually have a small head, it would fit perfectly for you. Ooh. Okay, that's what that looks like right there, guys. It's got a nice detail to it. I will tell you this. Okay. The base of it is actually pretty cool. If you can get it like a, a shirt or something, you can tuck it inside. It'll blend well if you put a certain kind of makeup on, if your neck happens to show or something. But it is long enough you wouldn't have to worry about that too much. Okay. Now here's the back of the mask. Okay. And again, I'll show you what it looks like inside. Oh, it's weird how this camera is. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's because I got it turned around, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you what it looks like inside. Okay. It's nice and dark and murky in there. Ooh. Okay. So, like I said, if you can get your head past that, you're good to go. And the way it's molded, it looks really cool. But like I said, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put it on. Show you what it looks like. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Got to take the glasses off of this. But like I said, if you got a big head like me, you see I got a big head. Okay. If you can get it past that certain point, it will stretch. Okay, see how tight it is? All right. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's what it looks like. See, that's not bad. But it does smother your mouth a little bit. See, that's why I don't recommend wearing this if you got a big head. It is tight. Okay, I will tell you that. So, just so you know, if you got a big head and you want to wear this mask, I wouldn't recommend it. It would be tight and very uncomfortable to wear. Okay? So, keep that in mind. All right, guys? All right, so that. With that in mind, that is the mask. So, I'm going to show you the mouth up close. See the teeth? They kind of got a realistic look about them. The mouth is decayed big time the way they did it. They really did a fantastic job on this mask, okay? The eyes are very spooky looking. Now, as you can see within the eyes here, if you wear it, it does have these little slits right here. All right, hang on, let me get you the right angle there. You can see it. There is little slits in there. I don't know if I can get the angle. But anyway, if you can see it, that's cool. But if you can't, let's see if you can pull it apart. Well, anyway, 
that's what you see out of okay the eyes themselves obviously give you the actual ghost appearance okay but that is the mask in itself okay guys and it's got a lot of hay all the way through it now if you can get the right kind of costume it is a very cool looking costume I'll tell you that the, the mask is absolutely perfect in my opinion and I got it for like I think 40 bucks so you can't go wrong with the price okay but like I said when I buy my masks I actually buy them for uh, display purposes only okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to end this here hope you guys enjoyed this mask and it also gives you an idea hang on for a second here Okay, all right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it gives you an idea if you ever want to buy a mask like this. You see it up close and personal. You know it's a decent looking mask, the texture and everything. I'm going to show you the thickness of it so you get an idea. Okay. It's pretty thick, okay. Like I said, it will stretch, okay. But anyway, long story short, that is my mask, okay. I'm going to end this here. Uh, this is a brand new channel. I'm going to say this in the next couple of videos. Until I get recognition, I'm going to need your help, guys, okay? Because it is a brand new channel. I just put it up maybe about a week and a half ago. And I'm posting all my masks right now. And eventually I'm going to move on to other parts of the, uh, the channel, which is concentrating a lot on the Halloween, as well as the uh, horror stuff that I got. But I'm going to concentrate on the Halloween first, okay? So I got through all my masks. I'll show you everything else as time progresses, okay? But this is the last mask I'm going to show you until I get another one, okay? I haven't stopped collecting them, so keep that in mind, all right? Uh, but it is a brand new channel. If you would uh, be so kind as to let everyone know about this channel and tell all your family and friends, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see a whole bunch of horror and a whole bunch of Halloween because this channel is nothing but, okay? And you'll get the occasional updates too in case, you know, something comes along. I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, but for the most part, this channel will concentrate on everything I got in my room here. And it will take some time to get through, okay? So keep that in mind. So in the meantime, I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because I will be pushing out some more uh, videos here on Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day. And thank you for watching my videos. Okay, have a good day.